Ever wonder how to take the axles off of your Mark II or Mark III Volkswagen? Well, let's find out. First thing you're going to do is... I put my car up so it can be easier to get underneath, so I sit it on top of a tire. Um, get you just that little bit so you can get it under there and get into the engine. The next thing you're going to do is make sure it's lifted up off the tire for the first thing. So we're going to jack her up until the tire is lifted and free hanging. And there's my jack just giving her. Alright. Wheels free hanging. Perfect. Next we want to check where we're lined up. Alright, so these are the guys we want to get at here. They are using a fancy 8mm drive triple square. I've got mine uh, electrically taped to an 8mm socket makes things a whole lot easier but what you want to do is you want to get you can see where I removed one already that's where you want it to be if it's down here it's just too much of a pain in the ass with the boot and everything else you want the positioning to be right about here so now with the wheel in the air we should be able to turn this come on turn to be about that same place I had the other one once it's there, we can drop the car back down. There, once we got that, drop the car back down, make sure it's sitting on something solid so that you're not going to get yourself hurt. I take no responsibilities for that. Now as we can see, it's pretty much in the same spot we had it before. Our next step is you're going to take that fancy tool you've made up and you're going to fit it into that guy there. But first, we're going to make sure she's all cleaned up because these guys are really easy to strip. And so we want to get the best possible surface connections we can. So I'm using a little pokey tool. Clean out all those little, little surfaces. Get all the dirt out of there. Because we don't want to strip this sucker. All right, so now she's clean. We should be able to put this in. She's in, but that's not all we're gonna do. Once we got it in, we're gonna try and hammer them in. Tap them in there to get as good of a connection you can get. Once it's in there though, we can connect our wrench back up. It's really hard to do holding your camera while you're upside down here. There we go. We got our socket wrench in. All right, so once you got that in, I like to get a little extra torque by putting a, a larger uh, extension on there and then putting a large socket on there so it fits over. Now, if we give it a good pull, See the nut moving there. All right, once we got it loose, we don't need the extension anymore. And we're pretty much free to loosen that bolt. Uh, 
Now she's finger loose. All right, you're gonna lose a little bit of clearance here, so push the boot in, pull the bolt out. Not easy to do with one hand. And sometimes you gotta spin it while you're pulling it out just to get it just right. Let's use my right hand and maybe we can get this out properly. You kind of have to hold the boot with one finger while you pull the other one. Use your other fingers to twist and pull that out at the same time. And there we go. <clears throat> now we've got a bolt out. And you're pretty much going to repeat that until you've got all the bolts out. Once you've got all those bolts out, you're free to uh, take the other end out on the other end. I'm not going to go through that today because I'm not actually removing those. I just need to get them out of the transmission to take the engine out. So um, that's pretty much it for today. This will work on Mark 3s and Mark 2s, automatics, manual, doesn't make a difference. They all pretty much attach to the transmission the same. These are 100 millimeter axles and cups. Apparently, once you've got these off, you can swap the portion here, the cup here, out of the transmission and swap them for 90 millimeters if you have, for some reason, 90 millimeters you're replacing them with. And that's pretty much it.